All right, it's time to talk about where I went and why. No, Cheeseman didn't do anything wrong. I still recommend the company highly. It was just time for the midlife trucker to change chapters and learn something new. And that something new was lease operations. I wanted to learn how to do my own fuel, learn how to use a load board and pick loads. However, as everybody told me, this is not the right time to get into lease or purchase. Because after all, we don't know what the spot market's gonna do and fuel's at all time high. When I was looking into lease, I found a video from the Lockout Man podcast where an unusual lease was talked about. And I really like the fact that they like people to give notice before they come to their company. Just talking to somebody about this yesterday. Uh, we have some drivers booked out for the next two weeks to be here because they're working some, they're going to give two weeks because we're not the kind of company that says drop on them and come here right now because we don't want those type of drivers. Then I came across a series of videos by Trucker Wayne. What makes this unusual, and as Trucker Wayne clearly describes, is that this lease is a by the mile lease. The drivers are paid by the mile and your lease payment is by the mile. So all your fixed costs are by the mile. This eliminates the chance for a negative settlement because if you're not driving, you're not getting billed for anything. I went to Arter's website, it's Arter Express. I went to arterexpress.com and I checked out their website and on their website, they had a great calculator. And after having been here for two pay periods, I can say that they do pay exactly by what you find on that website. I went to their website, I checked it out, I looked at their leasing program, I liked what I saw. I really like the fact that it's so transparent. Everything is on the website. Everything you're gonna be paid, everything you're gonna to have to pay is on the website. Just like Cheeseman, I said I like that about them. They give you all the information on your website without you having to contact a recruiter, give up your email address, or any of that stuff first. Like Mark on Trucking Answers said, why can't every company do this? Give out all the information without making you jump through a bunch of hoops first. Anyway, exactly what I'm gonna pay in fixed costs is there per mile and exactly what I'm gonna be paid is there. It doesn't get simpler than that. All right, one of the questions I had and I could not find the answer for and I had to ask the recruiter specifically is what made up the central region? So I'm gonna show you the central region that's where I'm going to be driving. South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, and Wisconsin make up the central region. Another big difference in this company is the number of trailers they have. They have a lot of trailers, and the reason for that is because it's drop and hook. They say they're 80% drop and hook, 80, 85% drop and hook. In the 10 days I've been pulling loads, because I had orientation first and then I went out, three days of last week and all seven days of this week, I have pulled six loads. They've been drop and hook at every end. 12 drop and hooks. Doesn't get better than that. Sometimes having a good dispatcher or fleet manager is very important. They do have a load board here and you can pick your loads from the load board. First time I picked a load from the load board and suggested it to my fleet manager, unbeknownst to me, that particular shipper was only open eight to five Monday through Friday. I got lucky. Guy was there late still loading a truck so I was able to get loaded and get out of there. But a dispatcher knows those things and keep you out of trouble. So sometimes a good dispatcher is very important. As you can see, I bounced all over the map. I have really been moving. Now this week I'm going, I'm headed back to Missouri and hopefully from there I'm headed to Georgia to go to some home time. Need to do a little home time because I haven't even gotten home to set up my truck yet. I've been out since I showed up at orientation, I was ready to go and I was rolling. Working here, I'm actually working for Midlife Trucker LLC who's contracted to Arter Express allows me to do one of the things that I love to do. That's the management and planning. Yeah, the driving is great. 
nothing like driving down the road and going past the Corvette Museum or seeing the Uranus Fudge Factory as you're driving by. All of those things are great. Enjoy the road. Enjoy listening to the audiobooks. Enjoy listening to the podcasts. But the planning is where I really have my fun. Sitting there trying to get all the pieces to come together, planning the route you're going to do, and planning your own fuel solutions. Using four different apps to find the cheapest fuel on route. And you can't just look at what's the cheapest. You've got to also consider, hey, how do I have to go off route to get this? Is this at the beginning? Is this at the end? A lot of planning, a lot of calculating, a lot of figuring going into this. And I'm enjoying it. And I'm hopefully it shows in my voice and I'm going to want to express and show you guys what I'm doing because this is fun for me. Just keep following along and we'll try and have another chapter in the Midlife Trucker Saga. And of course, I'm going to have some road footage videos, get some drone videos up because that is what I do and what I love. Now, remember, keep enjoying every day at work. <laughs>